What's going on? Mike Newman here at Impact Fitness. This studio here is my studio by day. I train my clients out of this studio every day. But once 6 o'clock comes, MMA starts here. So these guys got a big class going on. One of these guys is getting ready for Fire Extreme coming on February 18th, the week from this coming Saturday. That's Josh Arbuckle. So Josh, you've actually got quite a few fights under your belt. What's your record for the stand at? Two and seven. Okay, you're two and seven. So why is it so one-sided? What do you think attributed to all the losses? And what have you done to improve on your record of two and seven this weekend, or uh, next weekend against Fabian Lopez? Uh, my, my biggest week at this was uh, stand-up. So uh, I'm here with Pete, the broken way to stand-up. And I just made stupid mistakes in my own fights, so. Okay, hopefully you learn from those mistakes. Oh, yeah. And you've been training hard. Uh, when was your last fight? Um, April last year. Okay, so you give yourself a pretty good, uh, you know, preparation for this fight. So, many, were you able to take a good amount of notice for Fabian Lopez, and you've been able to train just for his strengths, or? Yeah, I've been really focused on this fight. Um, haven't really trained this hard ever. I don't really think so. Okay. So like we're gonna see the best Josh Sharp buckle we've ever seen. Yep. On February 18th, the Fire Extreme. Yes. Okay, so what kind of strengths do you think Fabian has that you might have to overcome in this fight? He's definitely bigger and stronger than I am, but most of the guys here are, so I'm kind of preparing for that already. Okay. So, you know, I'm training with guys like Tony and Mike Bisping here, so those guys are 200 pounds plus. Sure. Real good stand up. I'm just really preparing myself and starting myself with real good people to train for this fight. Okay, now is there anything you think you might need to stay away from with Fabian? Are you going to avoid going to the ground with him? Or what are you thinking? What kind of strategy do you think you might use? I'm real comfortable all over. Um, my stand ups come a long way with Pete, and my Jiu Jitsu has always been my strong point. So wherever he wants to go, we can go. But okay, it goes and goes. I'm not coming through around and finish him this fight. Woo! You hear that? You heard it here first. Josh Arbova says he's going to finish him before three rounds are up. So until next time, I'll keep you guys updated on that's going on. February 18th, I'm actually ring announcing that night, so come out there and check us out. Look for Josh R. Buckle. Yell as loud as you possibly can for him when you see him. Until next time, Josh R. Buckle, Mike Newman, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. All right, Josh.